Welcome everyone to the Passionate Pack Rat. Hope everyone's enjoying their day. You know, I was never a big fan of Star Wars. Uh, when it came out in 1976, 77, uh, we waited uh, at least a month before we'd go see it at the theater. This is in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And we got there, the big lineup. We waited an hour and a half to get into the theater. And we didn't get in. So, approximately, I don't know, a month, six weeks later, we went again. And there was a big lineup. I turned around, went home. I wasn't going to go wait in the lineup again. So, this is where the grain elevators, those wooden, iconic prairie skyscrapers, prairie kings, wheat kings, come into play. Back in... 1897, the federal government, the Canadian federal government, made a deal with Canadian Pacific Railroad, and that was to subsidize the movement of grain from the western provinces through the Crow's Nest Pass. Uh, it was called the Crow's Nest Pass Agreement, uh, and later earned the name the Crow Rate. Um, so what happened was... Uh, all these little hamlets, villages, towns, cities in Alberta, and throughout the western provinces, uh, if they didn't have grain elevators, uh, they started building grain elevators along the railroad line. Uh, and villages and towns started popping up because of this. Um, so, and this deal lasted uh, almost 100 years. Uh, it was... Uh, modified several times Canadian National Railroad got into the deal uh, and they built rail lines heading north and south mainly whereas Canadian Pacific uh, ran east-west mainly yeah. so they would move the grain through the Crow's Nest Pass into BC to Vancouver to be shipped uh, across the pond uh, to whatever destination. Like I said, this lasted almost a hundred years. 1993, the federal government, Canadian government, dropped the crow rate, uh, and the railroads did not want to go to these little towns anymore. Uh, they they wanted to go on one main line, uh, and all these little sub uh, sections of railroad. Uh, were becoming obsolete. The railroad company started uh, started tearing up track, and these grain elevators became obsolete. This was in Carstairs, north of Calgary. This is during Hale Bop. Uh, I don't know if you can see Hale Bop up there. I don't think you can. Sorry. Uh, oh well. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> Uh, they started tearing up the railroads. Now, uh, during the heyday in Alberta, there were over 5,000 grain wooden elevators in Alberta alone. 5,000. Now, today, there's approximately less than 120 standing in Alberta, uh, which is a staggering figure. You know, again, these are iconic uh, uh, historic landmarks. Um this was in Wilson, Alberta, uh, southern Alberta. Um, yeah, so they started tearing them down in 1993. The tracks started come, being ripped up, and the town started losing their grain elevators, like in Barrens, uh, southern Alberta again. The car stairs is where the Hale-Bopp picture was made. Um, Didsbury... This grain elevator was destined for the lumber yard, unfortunately, and Disbury decided to hold elevator movies, uh, showing uh, the first two Star Wars movies. Uh, this was magical. They projected the movies onto the grain elevator from a store downtown in behind all the cars here, um, which you can't see, obviously. It was really cool. There was a train that actually ran through here. And you could see the, the clips of Star Wars. This is the first movie. 
being uh, being moved uh, on the cars. It was like a moving, uh, moving movie. All these frames moving. It was very cool, very magical. I sat there uh, after I made these pictures and sat there and watched the movie, drank coffee, and ate some snacks. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed myself. It's uh, indelibly stamped uh, forever in my brain. Anyways. This brings me to my collection, other than these sad pictures uh, that I have on my computer. I'm sorry I don't have any many hard copies. In 2002, uh, a good friend of mine knew, knew I collect cards, and he decided to give me some Star Wars cards. 2000. These came in the Energizer, with Energizer batteries, uh, yeah, uh, very cool. They're uh, magic motion cards. They're the the technical word is lenticular, lenticular cards. Very cool. <laughs> yeah, these were from episode two, I believe. Um, and you know, being the the pack rat that I am, uh, I truly, truly am a pack rat. My lord, I'm just terrible. Uh, you know, I have boxes of cards from the 90s that I haven't even opened. Baseball, hockey. You know, I just do that. Anyways, these lenticular cards, I opened three of them. And I kept three of them, in the, or four of them. And they, these came in a set of four, I believe. Um, watch it, Obi-Wan. Um, yeah, so I have four, four, four of these guys and their wrappers. Uh, why when I open them and I'm thinking you know I should probably give these to someone who actually collects and would enjoy these I just don't know how to go about doing that so leave a comment tell me how to do that and maybe if you're the one who wants them wants to collect or does collect them I can give them to you I don't know up to you I, I'll see what comments I receive and decide after that uh, if not I'll give them away later on we'll see that's it for now. That's my whole collection, folks. I still have not seen a Star Wars movie in a theater. <laughs> and I know lots of Star Wars fans are going, oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. You got to see it in a theater. I know. I know. Anyways, take care of yourselves. Take care of others that are around you. Most important. And bye for now. If you, if you like this, hit the like, thumbs up button. If you don't, that's okay too. You know, we don't have to like everything in life. Um, yeah, take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you're new.